Afternoon boys and girls, hope you're having a good one and a lovely weekend. Well this is my pot retrieval system. If you get bad weather or a lot of shipping, often get the boys cut off or sometimes the toes down between the boys and the anchor tangle up so you can't see your pots on the surface. Well luckily with GPS now known chart plotters, we know exactly where the anchors are so then we can try and retrieve them. Well, the main part is obviously the grapnel. That's a stainless grapnel I made up. Weigh about two kilo, four pronged. So obviously, when it's dragging on the seabed, you've got two prongs touching the seabed at any one point. That then go to five meters of 10 mil rope, and then a meter of 10 mil chain. I put the chain there to obviously sink the rope in the water so the grapnel went along the bottom nicely. The theory behind the chain is quite obvious. This is the seabed. Then you've got your grapnel. That's the top of the water. And there you are on the boat. So the rope go down. And as the tide or the drift is in that direction, that'll try and tighten that rope up. And that could flip them prongs going upwards, what you don't want. But if you've got the rope, five meters of rope, and a bit of chain that hold it down so the grapnel drag straight across the seabed. That works far better with a bit of chain on than without. That's definitely worth putting in. After the chain, all it is is a more eight mil rope going into a builder's bucket or plaster's mixing bucket. There's about 60 meters of rope in there. And then it come out and go to this split ring. And I've never seen anyone use these for this type of thing, but that really is handy. I made this split ring out of a bit of eight mil stainless. Made up a couple of eyes and welded them on. So you let me see that open apart. That's virtually the same as an old E ring, what people use to retrieve the anchors on the old E ring retrieval system. But this one, it's probably about seven inches diameter. And then I've got a carabiner. Fix the other end of the rope. This ring is worth as weight in gold really when you're trying to retrieve pots. Because when you grapnel, you don't get don't get the anchor, so you always get in the middle of the shank. But you want to really get the anchor every time. Because then you ain't got to cut your shank or try and haul in the middle. That is really worth as weight in gold. I'll show you how I use it. When you grapple with modern GPS, you know roughly where you are. Not precise, but getting there. So when you grapple, you try and go for the end, down tide. Obviously, tide's moving this way. You try and grapple near the end. Well, if you hook there and pull it to the surface. You then get this ring out. What you do, once it's up to the surface, you hook that ring on, then lower it back down to the bottom. Once you lower the ring back down, obviously the tide will be pushing you backwards, and that'll push the ring. That'll push the ring along the gear. If you're hooked on here, that's great that ring will pull over the anchor and you can just pull it up if you're in the middle of the shank once it pull on a pot or you stop moving haul it back up you can get the rope and the pot in the boot unclip it and drop it back put it back on the other side and then drop it back down again once you then dropped it back down Obviously most people haul up tides, you've got the tide against you. Once you pull that down, that loop will slide along that. So obviously the boot's being pushed along with the tide. And then the loop is big enough to end up slipping up over the anchor. So then that's going to the surface. So then you can haul your anchor straight up. 
That is a really simple system, really easy. It's a lot easier hauling your anchor up than it is trying to get your pots midway. So obviously once I slipped over there, you, because obviously you dropped back with the tide, I slipped over the anchor, then just haul the anchor up and pull your gear in like usual. Really simple, really. That worked virtually every time, every time I used it. Or you sometimes get a few knots in the rope if the down tub has gone around the anchor. But that virtually pull over that. That's why you have a big eye in the ring. And then just once your anchors are bored in, haul your gear as usual. And obviously I run tangle the down toes or replace the boys that have been cut off. Really simple. Hope that help you in the future for retrieving gear. Because no one want to leave gear in the sea. Especially the price of pots and anchors now. They cost a fortune.